Hi and welcome back. Today I'll be finishing up work on the auger bit. I'll be cutting in the lead screw that you see here with the file that I made in the first video. I'll be heat treating it and giving it a basic sharpening and then finally I'll be uh, cutting a hole with it to see how it works. The first thing that I need to do is to take this square cross section that I now have for the uh, lead screw and turn it into a cone. And to do that I'm just going to take a regular file and knock off all of the corners. Once I have the profile basically round I can set up a block in the vise and use that to continue the process. I have a shallow groove filed into the front edge of the block and that groove is just deep enough to hold the lead screw in position while I continue filing. This groove is going to allow me to rotate the blank as I'm filing so that's going to make it a lot easier to get a pretty good conical shape. So now I'm ready to actually start cutting in the lead screw. In order to have a rather secure place to start, I'm going to file a little flat section right at the very tip. This flat section is going to give me a shoulder that I can use to start the file that I'm using to cut the lead screw. So I'm going to be cutting from the very tip of the lead screw and winding back to the largest diameter of the lead screw. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because I'm thinking that it should be fairly easy to get a relatively even thread cut right at the very tip because that diameter is so small. Even if I'm a little bit off, I'll be able to correct it and it won't be that noticeable. And I'll certainly be able to get a good thread established by the critical part, which is the actual base of the thread. That's the part that really grabs into the wood and draws the bit into the wood. So here's the file that I made in the first video and you can see that I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it started and that's because the teeth are way too coarse. I was using too heavy a hammer with this file and the teeth are probably about three times the size that they should be. So they're getting hung up and I'm having a hard time starting it. So I'm turning to a three corner file. Just, this is just the triangular file that's used for regular saw sharpening and I'm using that to create a flat spot that I can use to get at least a couple of teeth from my file to sit on the work. Once I have that shallow groove established my file starts to cut and I can finish the process with it. So once again I'm starting at the tip and initially I'm just basically scribing a very shallow line uh, for the first wrap of the thread. Once I get this shallow groove wrapped around one full turn at the tip I can decide whether I need to change my angle or try to move over slightly to get a better spacing for the thread. And then once I make any corrections that I may need to get the threads on track, it's basically just a matter of following the initial thread that I've cut all the way down to the base. This narrow file that I made is the same width as the thread that I want to cut. So the thin profile allows me to sight over the top edge of the file to see how I'm lining up with the previously cut thread. So it's actually fairly easy to follow along once you get started. By comparison you can see how a standard triangular file almost covers the entire lead screw so you really have no way of knowing where you're going if you're using a file like this.
Now that I have the pitch of the thread established, I'm going to be putting it in the vise and I'm going to be filing it down to the depth that I want. So uh, putting it in the vise just gives me a little bit more stable platform and allows me to use both hands to uh, apply a little bit more pressure. So I'm just going to spend a few more minutes getting this thread actually shaped the way that I want. Finally, I'm just going to use a file to create a sharp point on the lead screw and then I'll take the file that I used to cut the threads to clean up any little irregularities that I might see. The steel that I'm using is an oil hardening steel, so I heated it up to a bright red and quenched it in oil. To draw the temper, uh, because of the complicated shape, I didn't want to use a torch or anything like that. So I heated up a frying pan full of sand and I got it to a stable temperature of around 550 degrees. When I was at that point, I buried the bit in the sand and I let it sit there for about five minutes until the heat was evenly through the whole piece. So here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's going to cut. It made a pretty decent hole. Uh, you can see a little bit of tear out, so I need to do a little bit more sharpening. Uh, it was very easy to use. I applied very little pressure, so the lead screw was definitely working. So overall, I'm quite pleased with the results. Hi, I'm Dennis and thanks for watching. If you're interested in supporting this channel, the simplest way of course is to like, comment and subscribe. If you have questions and you want to contact me directly, you can do so by emailing me at either one of the addresses that I have listed here. It may take me a couple of days, but I will get back to you. Of course, financial support is always welcome. The only product that I produce is the information contained in these free videos. So if you like the work that I'm doing and the videos that I'm putting out and you can spare a couple of dollars a month, consider becoming a patron by clicking the orange Patreon logo at the bottom of the screen. Thank you and we'll see you next time.